The following is a presentation of Danger Zone Productions. Hey, what's up, everybody? You've just entered the Danger Zone. I am, of course, your host, Danny South, and we are here at Triad Anime Con in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, to check out all the action that as it goes down right here at the lovely Marriott Hotel. What kind of interesting things are we going to find here at Triad Anime Con? Well, given this, this is Danger Zone Productions' first year covering this event for Channel Zero, I'm definitely interested to see what exactly this convention has to offer. Let's go check it out. We got the co-producer of Danger Zone Productions. Larry. Playing a little Naruto. That's me. Yeah, he, want, he was supposed to be dressed as a sorcery for this event, but uh, but what happened? I couldn't find a wig and I couldn't dye my hair in time. So are you getting your ass beat yet? No, I'm trying to figure out how to play. You never played? I thought you would have played this game. Oh, he's getting advice from his fellow Akatsuki. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have got a real challenge right here. We've got Sasori versus Toby, which is literally Toby versus supposed Sasori. <laughs> Who will be the ultimate ninja? Puppet Boy's not looking like he's doing so good. Toby is teleporting around quicker than Ganon from the Le Legend of Zelda game. I mean, the cartoon. Sorry. True. Oh, fell on his ass. Distracting when Sasori's got that puppet dragging around. Oh, oh! And he's flaming! Oh, oh! Oh, something happened. Sorcery has turned into a little propeller man. What the hell? There are so many things happening in this fight, it is very hard to tell what is going on. In the end, there could only be one. Once again, Danny South here. We're still covering Triad Anime Con in Winston-Salem. We've decided to move on to the vendor area. Another thing that you can't go to a convention without saying is the vending area. Hundreds of people gathering here to sell off stuff that all kinds of people come from near and far looking to purchase. And we're going to take a look at some of it. Let's see what we got. We got selling anime. There's Samurai 7, which I hear is a great anime. Gundam Destiny, which our co-producer who just left off in a huff would have greatly enjoyed. I see Speed Racer. Now there's something I haven't seen in a while. So many things. Oh my god. It's the Tekken movie. You want to talk about something that's old? That is an old movie right there. Good lord. 
it's the Signature Series, too. I actually have the Signature Series edition of Akira on DVD. That was the first anime I ever got. And after watching it, that's what got me hooked on anime. And I was like, this stuff is awesome. <laughs> And apple seed, McKinley likes that one too. He d did he even look at these? That doesn't surprise me. And we've got uh, custom. Are these custom? Uh, they are upcycled from comic books. We do do custom orders. And you guys made these? Yes, they're all handmade. Very nice. You got got some ponies for those of you viewers out there who are the of the bronies. We got some superheroes. Looks like Spider Woman. I think that's Emma Frost, the Hulk, Robin. We got Mega Man, Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, talk about a blast from the past! Old school 8-bit Link and Zelda. Nice. Very nice. They got everything ranging from the pendants to rings. <laughs> Those are pendants too. My bad. <laughs> oh, and the earrings. I didn't even see those. Very nice. It's hard to make out what they are. I, I see Spider Woman on one of them. With my nearsighted self. The top three pair, I believe, are Captain America and Bucky. Oh, okay. Which we will probably be seeing in the upcoming Captain America movie, <laughs> The Winter Soldier. Oh, these are very nice. Wooden backed pendants? Uh, these are origami paper, and these here are actually upcycled from real Japanese stamps. Wow. Very nice. And uh, what's what's your little group called? We're the 42nd Seal. 42nd Seal. You heard it, people. If you want to get some of these fantastic products, 42nd Seal. Dot com. Dot com. <laughs> right here we have some, uh, these are all wood made, right? Yes, sir. All right, all wooden made. You got Donald Duck's staff from Kingdom Hearts along with a couple of models of the Keyblade. Thundercats, which I am a huge fan of, by the way. <laughs> How you guys doing? If Adventure time. Let me know, okay? And these, these are very nice. And you made all these yourself? Yes, sir. My brother did. My brother, oh, your brother does all did. the woodworking. Yep. Me and my brother are in business together. Uh, the thing with these is that they actually have the interchangeable faces, so you can take them out and switch them. And it makes a whole different box. Very nice. And these are made using just regular wood panel and uh, tea lights? Uh, yeah, regular wood panel and tea lights. Very nice. We got all kinds of varieties through here. Everything ranging from Marvel superheroes to Zodiac to video game symbols. And how long does it usually take y'all to make one of these? Um, it depends uh, on the level of detail that it has. Mm -hmm. But um, to make all the stuff, I mean, it's taken us months to get the product, like to get the amount of product that we have now. Uh, yeah, it definitely looks like you guys took a good bit of time into it and definitely had some very unbelievable attention to detail. Very nice stuff. They got everything from the glowing, the little glowing boxes. They got wooden weapons, keychains, necklaces. They even got card boxes for those of you who are card enthusiasts, like myself. <laughs> and I love the t-shirts. The t-shirts are off the chain. And I believe you told me earlier that most of these glow in the dark. Yeah, the, fir uh, the first two columns and these right here all glow in the dark. The last ones don't, and I do all the t-shirts myself. And he does Everything all the t-shirts himself. Keep calm and finish him. I love that. <laughs> that is awesome. Very nice. We got... I haven't seen too far into Pokemon, but I do know some of the, the basic ones. There's a Blastoise. Oh, and they got the, the ghost Pokemon up there. <laughs> and you said you got Doctor Who stuff too. Oh, nice. Desk lamp. The sonic screwdriver, the classic one. Yeah, 
Doctor Who Monopoly because what doesn't have a Monopoly game based on nowadays? <laughs> I, even, I even once in a Walmart saw a Jersey Shore Monopoly and I was like, really? These people need their own Monopoly. <laughs> Adventure Time has their own Monopoly. Are you serious? Yes. I mean, it is Adventure Time. My Little Pony, Nintendo, Lord of the Rings. Oh, that's Dr. Song's sonic screwdriver. I was actually looking for one of those for the longest time. And of course, no convention is complete without Steampunk making an appearance. Got lady oh, <laughs> how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing fine. We're it's all handcrafted steampunk. All handcrafted. That is. Oh my lord. You know, sometimes I come to these things and I see these things, and they say they made them themselves, and I'm like. I can verify from the fact that the materials have taken over the living room of my house <laughs> and I can't even sit on my own sofa. <laughs> I can I can certify that these items are handmade. I can certify that she stays up until three in the morning making this stuff. <laughs> Therefore I sleep in the bed with the cats. <laughs> and um, so I don't know what other evidence you need besides that. Well, there you have it, right from the source. <laughs> you got some rare books. I actually read Misery once. It was a great story. Yes. Oh, my God, and it's actually been yep. signed by Steve. So you actually got to meet Stephen King. I did. I have another one at home um, that he signed. This one I got from a dealer. But yeah. the signature is a very exactly yeah. the same. That is unbelievable. Yes, and you'll, you'll want oh my God. to get that. And all the signatures are on there, including Gene Roddenberry. Oh I do have a certificate God. of authenticity for that. <laughs> His dad would flip his lid over that because he is a huge Trekkie. I've seen a couple episodes, but he's got me beat as far as being a Star Trek fan goes. He's got Every... all the signatures on it, including Gene Roddenberry. <laughs> <laughs> got the Da Vinci Code. They got Dangerous Lives of Alter Boys. Uh, I can't say I've ever heard of that one, but... The artwork definitely has caught my attention. <laughs> I met, um, I did meet Jonathan Freaks at a convention, and so he signed this one. Nice. It's a science fiction book he wrote with, and I got that signature as well. You can see, at these kinds of conventions, you never really know what you're going to find. Yeah. 
welcomed two more cosplayers here at Triad Anime Con. Uh, is this your first time here at Triad Anime Con? No, I've been here before. All right, and uh, how would you say this one compares to the one you've been to before? It seems pretty good. I mean, it's, it's great. Anything in particular that kind of stands out to you? Mm, not really. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> there's, no? just, there's a lot of panels. It's really fun. There's just all kinds of stuff to do. How about yourself? Um, this is my first time at Triadic Anime Con. Um, so far I'm having fun. I'm meeting new people. Yeah. <laughs> is there any like certain panel you guys are definitely looking forward to? Uh, Natalia Askination panel. Oh, when's that one? Might have to check that one out myself. <laughs> one of my friends is in it. Oh, okay. Cool, so. All right then. Well, we thank y'all for talking to us. You're Enjoy welcome. the rest of the convention. You too. One of the main things that attracts everybody to conventions are panels, and Triad has a very interesting one. <laughs> by that gentleman over there, Samurai Dan, who is actually giving instruction on both ninja style and samurai style swordsmanship. I myself didn't get here in time, but as you can see. Samurai Dan's got quite a bit of students. And this is only one of many panels that's going on today. One of many that we're actually going to sit in on and take a look at. Just goes to show you, you never really know what you're going to find at these kinds of conventions. Definitely looks like everybody's having some fun. So it just goes to show you, at Triad Anime Con, you never really know what you're going to find. Definitely a fun place to come out, meet new people, check out new things. And you can guarantee that if possible, Danger Zone Productions will be back here next year. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you guys had a great time. And who knows, maybe we'll even see you here at Triad and Macon.